control center from here. Good luck. Full hammer out. Covenant presence here is stronger than I anticipated. They seem to have the entire region secured. Interesting. The weather patterns here seem natural, not artificial. I wonder if the ring's environment systems are malfunctioning, or if the designers wanted the installation to have inclement weather. This is Fire Team Zulu requesting immediate assistance from any UNSC forces. Does anyone copy? Over. I didn't think there were any human forces left on this part of the ring. Cortana to Fire Team Zulu, I read you. Fire Team Zulu, this is Cortana. Full position, we're on our way. Roger that. Make it quick. This way, this way!
their tanks to defend the entrance.
for you.
so tough. Damn straight! all the marine forces in this area.
there's more space. <laughs>
The entrance to the control center is at the top of that pyramid structure. Bring me up there and I should be able to get us inside.
Covenant forces in the vicinity have been eliminated. Let's move on to Halo's control center. This is it, Halo's control center. Terminal, try there. You all right? Never been better. You can't imagine the wealth of information. The knowledge, so much, so fast. It's glorious. So, what sort of weapon is it? What are you talking about? Let's stay focused. Halo, how do we use it against the Covenant? This ring isn't a cudgel, you barbarian. It's something else. Something much more important. The Covenant were right. This ring... It's Forerunner. Give me a second to access. Yes, the Forerunner built this place, what they called a fortress world, in order to... Wait. No, that can't be. Oh, those Covenant fools. They must have known. There must have been signs. Slow down. You're losing me. The Covenant found something. Buried in this ring. Something horrible. And now, they're afraid. Something buried? Where? The captain. We've got to stop the captain. Keys? What the we... weapons cache he's looking for. It's not really... We can't let him get inside. I don't understand. There's no time. Get out of here. Find Keys. Stop him. Before it's too late! Construction of a sarcophagus around the unexplained vessel was completed today. No occupants ever exited. No attempts to communicate were made, other than the automated broadcast that repeated every 72.83 seconds until the signal terminated one week ago. In accordance with procedure, no attempts at physical or remote contact were made with any survivors of this vessel's inelegant landing. Atmosphere from inside the craft stopped venting two weeks before the signal ceased. No relationship between these two events can be established with certainty. Gases that did escape were sterilized. No further sign of alien visitors or rescuers has been identified on any sensor systems. I have now endured 60,000 years without word from outside the array. I have no way to know whether we actually saved the galaxy we destroyed. And because of protocol, I sat silently while my first chance to be judged for those acts died. To say that I regret being forced to this outcome is a tremendous understatement. But as I before my inspection of the quarantine labs today, I am reminded of the gravity of my responsibilities. Just one of these spores, if released from this facility, would render the ultimate judgment against our self-appointed role as protectors of this galaxy. When the plan to maintain the Halo Array was created, it was a point of some contention whether we should preserve any remnant of the flood infection. Many thought this unwise, as there was a notable chance that one day one of our containment facilities might be breached. Those who held this belief were almost successful at convincing the Ecumen Council to destroy the last flood samples. But oddly enough, it was the librarian who decided otherwise. And I believe she was correct. I know in a way, I cannot logically explain that there exists a way to actually defeat the flood. To immunize, to cure, I still struggle with multiple layers of memory of fighting the flood. But I know this cure is possible, 
even though the full genius of the Forerunners was unable to achieve it. The Forerunners' ancient enemy held and used that knowledge once, but it was denied to us. And without samples for further study, that cure will never again be found. Of course, I have no reason to believe that here lies the entirety of the parasite. It may be waiting in the frozen void beyond this galaxy, or worse, inexorably drifting toward us. I don't know what survives out beyond my installation, but I know that in order for anything to survive, I have to protect this installation and its quarantine very carefully. Yes, the library was right to store it, examine it, continue to seek a cure. Still, next visitor, things will be different.